got home about 3 o'clock in the morning and the police were covering the bridge. We didn't know what was going on. Wes and Derek Jones say it's amazing to look down and realize someone survived getting thrown from the Derby Shelton Bridge. And this afternoon, 25-year-old Gregory Rocher, the man whom police say tossed the victim over the side of the bridge, faced a judge. And it goes to that extreme where somebody's throwing somebody over and that stuff. That's definitely an attempted murder at that point. And the guy should go to jail for a long period of time. According to court paperwork, the victim and his brother were walking over the bridge shortly before one Thanksgiving morning when police say Rocher and his girlfriend, Jennifer Hannum, were having an argument. The victim told police he told Rocher to chill out. But police say cell phone video shows Rocher go after the victim, who was backing up with his hands in the air. Quote, he got involved telling him to leave her alone. Stated the man became aggressive toward him, and they began to fight. Stated the man had both of his legs and lifted him up over the bridge. Stated that is all he remembers of the incident. When police arrived, the victim was on his back in the icy water. Investigators say not only did they get two pieces of cell phone video showing the incident, but they also found a cell phone that morning belonging to Hannum, Roger's girlfriend. Jennifer, is there anything you want to say about the allegations in that night? And when police turned on the phone, they say there was this text message, quote, Hi, I am the owner of this iPhone. Please call me to be returned. Police traced that number back to Roger and said the pictures on the phone, along with the cell phone video of the fight and nearby surveillance video, matched up. When interviewed by police, he allegedly told them, quote, I did it. I threw him over the bridge. According to the arrest warrant, Roger told police he started drinking at 4.30 that afternoon and was drunk by the end of the night, but felt the victim disrespected his girlfriend, and that's why they started fighting. Police arrested Hannum, saying she lied to officers about the incident that morning, saying she didn't know anything about someone being thrown off the bridge. Also arrested, Roger's friend, Matthew Dorso. He's charged with assault. Police say all three met the day after the incident, in which Dorso allegedly said he wouldn't tell anyone about what happened. He screwed up his life because of it, and you screwed up the other guy's life just because you wanted to be drunk and be an airhead.